Hello, good morning and welcome to the Dutchin channel. It's Saturday the 23rd of March 2024. We're approaching 8.30 in the morning and we've got lots of racing for you today. And we're going to start with the ITV4 live races. And the first of those is going to be from Doncaster, the 120. All seven go to post. And our top selection here is a horse called Sherin. So we're going to use Matchbook for this. We prefer this over the old looking Betfair, but either account, if you've got our smart kits, will be good enough for this. So we're going to look at Sherin there. Currently trading at 3.8 this morning. And stakes of £26.32 will return £100. And our second selection is Holloway Boy. And Holloway Boy currently trading at 7.2. That would require stakes of £13.89 to return £100. And our third selection is Astral Bow. This is currently trading at 5.3. And we can't have that much on because the maximum stakes that we're allowed are £50 to return 100 And up to that point, we've staked £40.20. So our maximum stake here would be £9.80. If you've not done Dutching before, this is a system where you want to return £100 on every race. But your maximum stake can only be 50 because we want to trade everything out and make a profit of evens but the last selection will be always be the one that is going to be less than a hundred because you're only putting on your odd money that you've got left so we'll look at astral bow here we always bring the calculator out at this point You've got £9.80 on Astral Bow, and the price currently is 5.3. And this will return £51.94. So basically, Astral Bow, if this wins, you've got a free bet because you've got your £50 back. And if Sharon wins or Holloway Boy, one of those two will return £100. Now, the difference between exchange bookmakers and high street bookmakers is that you will get a deduction from a commission fee that the exchange bookmakers take. So if you imagine that Sharon was to win this first race and you've got £100 to come back and you staked 50 your profit will be 50, and it's only the profit that they take the commission from. And most of these bookmakers are up to 5%. You can get deals at different times, so look out for that if you're going to open an account. So we just imagine this one is 5%. You've got 5% off of £50 of the profit would be a £2.50 deduction. So that at the moment there is the first race complete. So you would have Sharon and Holloway Boy. One of those two would return you £100. And if Astral Bow comes through, then that will be money back. Now the second live race today comes from Banger on D. This is the 130. I don't even understand how they've got this race. I mean, to send your cameras all the way to Banger and just just do one race, I think is it doesn't make any sense, really. And what I didn't show you on the last one is that the over round was 101 point something, so that was fine to have a bet with that. The second race here at Banger is 102.49 as it stands. So again, just needs to drop a percent, but nothing too terrible our selection in the first one at banger is williston and williston at the moment is the outsider trading at 29 
I'm not always giving favourites to come first and everything, so be aware of that, that I do give some weird and wonderful prices. Now, the stakes on Williston would be £3.45 at a price of 29 to return £100. And our second selection is Jungle Jack. And Jungle Jack, this is trading currently at 6.2. A stake of £16.13 would return £100. And don't forget, if you've got a 100 to 1 shot and you go, no, don't be silly, that can't win that. It's only taking £1 of your stake. It's when you've got an even money shot that you expect to win and it doesn't, and you've only got that one selection in the race, that's when it becomes a problem. But never worry about your big outsiders. The third selection here is Uncle Bert, and Uncle Bert currently joint favourite there at 4.5. This would require stakes of £22.22 £22 to return £100, and we'll add all three of those up so far. Comes to 41.80. So maximum we can lay out is £8.20 on the next selection. And that is pick a number, and pick a number is the other joint favourite, which is just slowly going into favourite there. This is 4.5 as well, and you saw that the horse we just done before that was 4.5. So to get £100 back, we would have had to have laid 22.22, but we don't want to go over £50, so our stake on this one would be £8.20. So we'll bring the calculator out. This will pick a number is 8.2 or £8.20 stakes times the 4.5 SP off matchbook. And that means we would return £36.90. Yes, it would be a loss. It would only be around £13, £14. But it meant on top of that, we had three horses running for us, which are Witherston, Jungle Jack and Uncle Bert. One of those three would return £100. And then you saw on pick a number, this would return £36.90. And of course, when you're returning £36.90, there is no fee to come off that <coughs> because it's less than your stake. Moving into the third race on the TV, this is the 150 at Doncaster. Now, they're just full of horses that have never run before. It's like putting a, a needle in or a pin and just hoping that you pick the winner out because it's going to be a very difficult race. And I don't have any ratings as well. I need a horse to have run at least once for it to have a rating. So this race for me would be a no bet. Into the fourth TV race, this is the 210 from Newbury, and we've got nine runners here. So let's just go, I'll just quickly show you that 150 at Doncaster while I'm here. There you go, you can see there that not one of the horses has run before. All you would do there in your head is go with the best trainer, I suppose, and then the best jockey, but... There's no point in gambling unless you've got some idea on what's going to win. So anyway, let's move into the 2.10 at Newbury. We've got a non-runner here. Down the bottom, it's home free, and that leaves nine going to post. But I've only got nine, so that must have come out last night. And our top selection here is Into the Park. So we'll go back into Matchbook. And we'll pick out the 210 at Newbury. And our selection here into the park. Currently second in, and this is trading at six. So stakes of £16.67 would return £100. And you can see again in this race that the over round is 103. So that needs to come down at least 1.5% before you can have a bet in that race. So leave that till later on. I would that one. 
Our second selection, I Love My Bay. Now, I Love My Bay is currently the outsider at 30. So this would require stakes of £3.33 to return £100. Our third selection, ID Wood. And ID Wood, this is currently trading at 12.5 on Matchbook. And stakes there of £8 would return you £100. Our fourth selection is 135 Not Out. I remember that was a couple of years ago now and they named that. And that is currently trading at 15. So stakes of £6.67 there would return £100. We'll just add the four together for now just to see what we've staked. And our stakes are 34.67. So we've got 15.33 left. And the next selection, this is our fifth one, is the Good Doctor. And the Good Doctor, another outsider as well. This is trading at 13.5. And stakes of 7.41 would return £100. And the sixth selection, Break My Soul. And this is trading at 8.8. .8 and stakes there of £11.36. But... When we add up the top five, they come to 42.07. We've only got 7.93 in the kitty. So that is our maximum stake that we can have on Break My Soul. So into the calculator. Break My Soul, £7.93 stakes. And we're going to times that by the matchbook price of 8.8 .8. this will return us £69.78 which considering it's our sixth selection and there's only nine runners still to get a profit is pretty good so it will profit £19 that one and we've got five horses running for us to return £100 into the park I love my bay Ivy Wood 135 not out and the good doctor so that's pretty good on the markup when you think that the only three we haven't got the spirits bay cartoon and co and pretending now we're going to move into the fifth itv race and this is i think this is the spring mile yeah the spring mile 18 go to post here let's see if they all still go so we want the 225 at Doncaster. Yep, Spring Mile. And all 18 go to post. I thought this race was um, a bit poor for the amount of prize money. You see the prize money up here, 38,655. Well, I have a green box on every page that I don't know if you've noticed before. But I've got this race worth 7,000. £794 to the winner. So it tells me that it's a pretty poor turnout for that amount of prize money. <coughs> so our top selection in the 225 is Titian. This is currently on... I think I said that too quickly before I changed it. Let's get into the 225. Yeah, Titian is currently... The well it was second in, but that price is now moving out. You've got a very good over round here of 100.9. So if you was going to do this race, it would be a good time to do it. And Titian is currently trading at 12 on Matchbook, which means stakes of eight pounds 33 would return 100 pounds. Our second selection is Thunder Roar. Now, Thunder Roar is currently at 9.6. And stakes of £10.42 would return £100. Our third selection here is Clear Angel. And Clear Angel, I think we might have to just scroll down a bit. 
Clear Angel is currently trading at 28. So stakes of £3.57 would return £100. Our fourth selection is Wildfell. And Wildfell is trading at 36. So we've got some nice big outsiders again. £2.78 would return £100. And our fifth selection, Lion Tower. Lion Tower, this is also a 36 trade at the moment. £2.78 would return £100. And our sixth selection is Dirty Old Town. So let's scroll up or down here. We go up first of all. Dirty Old Town is currently 12.5 on Matchbook. And that requires stakes of £8 to return £100. Let's just add those up. And so far we've staked £35.88. We've got £14.12 left. And our seventh selection is Magic Memories. And Magic Memories is also trading at about 9.8. It's quite a long way down to be 9.8. I don't know if they've come for that. And that requires stakes of £10.20 to return £100. And our eighth selection is Arthur's Realm. And Arthur's Realm is currently 11.5. And I'm not sure how much money we've got left, so let's quickly add that up. Um, we've only got £3.92 left, so £3.92 would go onto Arthur's Realm, and that would be our last selection. But this way is certainly a lot better to back eight horses in a race against the other ten, rather than you just going, oh, I just fancy this, fancy that, and do your money and lose. At least you have a lot of horses running for you. So the first one we're going to look at is our eight selection. This is Arthur's Realm. £3.92 pence would be the stake because we couldn't go any higher. And the price on Matchbook was 11.5. <clears throat> so that would return £45.08. pence. So if you think of the eight selection coming in, you've only lost £5. So it's not the end of the world. But you've still got another seven running for you. You've got Titian, Thunder Roar, Clear Angel, Wild Fell, Lion Tower, Dirty Old Town, and Magic Memories. So if one of those seven was to win, you would return £100. And if Arthur's Realm was to win, you would return £45.08. So that is the fifth race that's on ITV4. Now we're moving into the sixth race. This is the 240 at Newbury. And I won't go as fast as I did on the last race. So that's right, 240 at Newbury. There's a non runner here. Six go to post. And that non runner is Eaton Kalina. And Eaton Kalina was in our betting there. That was our fifth selection. I don't think that we most probably would have backed it anyway. So we'll just change this to get it down to six runners. And our number one selection here is Helton Ham. So we'll go into Matchbook. And we'll look for the... 240 there at Newbury. And Heltenham is quite a short price favourite. That's trading at 5 to 4 at the moment, which there is 2.26. So stakes of £44.25 would return £100. I just want to have a quick look at the over round. Very good again, 100.74. And our second selection would be Gustavian. And Gustavian is currently 9.2. But you can see from the first bet that we don't have a lot of money left. And we only have £5.75. So this will be the stake 
on Gustavium. <coughs> so let's go to Gustavium where we've got £5.75 stakes times this by 9.2 SP on matchbook would give us a return of £52.90 which would be like a free bet because you get that money back you think well I haven't lost and you've got a free bet running on Heltonham to return you a hundred pounds so it's not not too terrible that way so I'm just going to quickly have a drink I don't know what's going on <clears throat> right so moving on now to race seven this is the three o'clock at Doncaster where seven go to post so let's just have a look on the racing post in case there's any non-runners. And now all seven go to post there. And then into matchbook. Where we pull up the three o'clock. And our number one selection in this race is Baradar. And Baradar is currently trading at 5.6. The over round is okay at 101.59. So Baradar 5.6. Stakes of £17.86. Will return £100. And our second selection is Montesib. And Montesib is currently the favourite there at 4.4. And stakes of £22.73 would return us £100. We've now laid out £40.58, leaves us £9.42 maximum. And our third selection is Marshman. And Marshman is currently 5.9. And there we go, £16.95 would be too much. So a stake of £9.42 would be the maximum on Marshman. So we'll start with Marshman. We've got 9.42 on £9.42. We're going to times that by 5.9 for the odds. And if this was to win, it would return us £55.57. And again, it's a free bet in one way, because if that won, you haven't lost money. And on top of this, you've still got two horses running for you to return £100. And they are Baradar and Montesib. The penultimate race on the TV is the 3.15 from Newbury. 17 go to post here. So let's bring that up to make sure we have got that many and there's no non-runners. And yep, all 17 go to post here. So we'll go into matchbook again. We'll bring up the 315 at Newbury. And this is quite a good handicap with that amount of runners. And our top selection here is Smiling Getaway. And the price of Smiling Getaway is currently 10. So stakes of 10 will return £100. Our second selection, Ooh Betty. That takes me back a long while for Frank Spencer. And Ooh Betty is currently trading on matchbook at 32 this would require stakes of £3.13 to return £100. Our third selection is Larchmont Lass. And Larchmont Lass is a round second favourite. This is trading currently at 9 and would require stakes of £11.11 £11 to return £100. Then our fourth selection would be Party Vibes. 
And one thing at the moment, you can see that the over round is 103. That's because of the amount of runners. But you still need that to come down about 1.5%. So if you're doing a, a multi-bet like me, you would wait to a bit later on. And Party Vibes is actually the favourite. That's currently trading at 6.2. That would require stakes of £16.13 pence to return £100. And those four come to a stake of £40.37. That leaves us £9.63. Our fifth selection is Alfie's Princess. And this is currently 18.5. I knew I'd spelt that wrong yesterday. Right, 18.5. Stakes of £5.41 would return us £100. And our sixth selection is Lilton Verse. And Lilton Verse. That's currently 21. And would require stakes of £4.76. Let's see if we've got that amount left well no but we've got four pounds 23 so very close so we're going to have six in this race from a possible 17 runners and the last selection we're going to look at first is Lilton verse four pounds 23 to win at odds of 21 would return us £88.83, so it would be a good profit for the sixth selection. And we've got five running for us to return £100. Smiling Getaway, Ooh Betty, Larchmont Lass, Party Vibes and Alfie's Princess. One of those would return £100. And Lilton Verse, as we said, would return £88.83. Three. Now we're going to move on to the ninth and final race on ITV4. This is the William Hill Lincoln. There was a couple of non-runners up until last night. We'll go back and have a look at this race on the Racing Post, see if that still is the case. <clears throat> and yeah, there they are. We've got... AWOL and base player. So those two are non runners. That leaves us 20 to go to post. We'll go back into matchbook. We'll bring up 335. And our number one selection here is a horse called the Gatekeeper. And the Gatekeeper currently trading at 16.5 and one thing we want to quickly look at is the over round here just gone from 101 to 102.04 so just needs to come down a little bit that about half a percent but again betting on that later will be no problem and the gatekeeper as I say 16.5 trading on matchbook and stakes of six pound and six pence will return you £100. Our number, our second selection is Johan. And Johan, this is currently trading also at 16.5. And stakes of £6.06 and sixpence will return £100. Our third selection is Chazers Me. And Chazers Me is favourite at 4.6. So quite a short favourite. For 20 runners, we would require £21.74 stakes to return £100. And our fourth selection is Dutch Decoy. And Dutch Decoy is currently trading at 48 This would require stakes of £2.08 to return £100. We're just going to quickly add up what we've staked. 35.94. We've got £14.06 left. Our fifth selection is Vetiva. And Vetiva is currently trading at 18. 
So it would require stakes of £5.56 to return £100. And our sixth selection is Parlando. And Parlando currently trading on Matchbook at 60 would require stakes of £1.67 to return £100. And we've staked 43.17, leaving us now £6.87. 83 in the kitty. Our seventh selection is Thunderball. And Thunderball is 15.5 trade. And would require £6.45. And we know that we've got £6. Yeah, we can do £6.45. So... Thunderball, £6.45 stake, would return £100. And now that would leave us literally pennies here. We would have 38 pence, whether you put that on the next horse is up to you. And number eight would be Liberty Lane. And Liberty Lane would be 6.6. .6. So I'm not going to work that one out for you. But... That will give you about £2.60 in return. So whether you do that or not is up to you. I do this for information purposes to keep all the figures correct. So we have seven running for us in the Lincoln. And they will be the gatekeeper. Johan, Chazasme, Dutch Decoy, Vetiver, Parlando and Thunderball. One of those seven wins and you return £100. So what I'm going to do quickly now, we're going to do a recap. We're going to go back to race one. We want the 120 at Doncaster, Sharon and Hollow Way Boy. These two, one of them would return £100. An Astral Bow would give you the lower amount. Then in the 130 at Banger, we've got Williston, Jungle Jack and Uncle Bert. One of those three will return £100 and pick a number would return the lower amount. The third race, the 150 at Doncaster, would be a no bet. The 210 at Newbury, Into the Park, I Love My Bay, ID Wood, 135 not out and the good doctor one of those five would return 100 pounds and break my soul would be the lower amount the 225 at doncaster titian thunder roar clear angel wild fell lion tower dirty old town and magic memories one of those seven would return 100 pounds and Arthur's Realm would be the lower amount. The 240 at Newbury, Helton Ham would return £100. And Gustavian would be the lower amount. Into race 7, this is the 3 o'clock at Doncaster. Baradar and Montezib, one of those two would return £100. And Marshman would be the lower amount. Into the eighth race, the 315 at Newbury, Smiling Getaway, Ooh Betty, Larchmont Lass, Party Vibes, Alfie's Princess. One of those five would return £100, and Lilting Verse would be the lower amount. And into the final race, this is the William Hill Lincoln at 335 from Doncaster, the last one on the TV. The Gatekeeper, Johan. Chazers me, Dutch decoy, Vetiver, Parlando, and Thunderball. One of those seven would return a hundred pounds, and Liberty Lane would be the lower amount. So that is all your races covered today that are on the TV. And I'd just like to say good luck to everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.